Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is well into 2020 at this point and I felt like it was time for a new improved and revised version of how to use Sales Navigator in 2020. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications to make sure that you're kept up to date with the videos that I upload. Everything to do with LinkedIn, entrepreneurship, SMMA, but mainly LinkedIn videos. Now also be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and leave a nice comment down below if you're feeling generous. Now, once you understand the basics of Sales Navigator, it's not too tricky to figure out how to use it properly, but the common problem that I see with a lot of my clients and students is that they're not sure who they're actually looking for in the first place. So I'm gonna jump onto Sales Navigator and run you through exactly what I mean by this and how we can fix this problem and get you on the right track to using it effectively and generating a consistent lead flow. So we're on Sales Navigator at the moment. In terms of knowing what you're looking for, by that I mean your ideal persona. So you need to figure out what your ideal client looks like. The best way to do this is to look at clients that you already have, previous clients, seeing what things they have in common in terms of industry they're based in, the company sizes that they're in, who you actually spoke to when you closed them on the course, are you targeting owners or managing directors? It that also depends on how big the company is. And then actually trying to draw things in common between your ideal clients and then looking for that using Sales Navigator Advanced Search. So in terms of advanced search, if you go here, search for leads, you need to, when you have a look at this, be able to know exactly what your client looks like. So for example, if we look here, you should know what language you're gonna be speaking in. So I'm going to do English just for the sake of this video. You should have a specific niche or industry that you target. If you don't, I would recommend niching down um, just because I think it's better to be perceived as an expert in one vertical instead of being average at what you do across loads of different industries. And it also just gives the person trust um, when they know that you only work with people within that industry and you've figured out exactly what techniques and methods and Facebook ads and growth strategies work for them. So in terms of industry, I'm going to go for, let's have a think, let's do health, wellness and fitness. So health, wellness and fitness, people whose profile languages are in English, geography. So one of the tricks that I teach my clients is if, for example, I am looking for, say, gym owners, um, I could have a look and see best countries um, with the best gyms. 20 best gyms from around the world, um, best gyms in the world, nine that you have to visit, the best gyms in Cape Town, so that's where I'm based right now, um, best of the best, top five countries, um, best countries with the most gyms. Countries with the highest number of health and fitness. So let's go over here. And I do the same thing for like marketing, advertising agencies. So for example, we've got United States, Brazil, Mexico. See, I would have put UK probably higher up than some of these other European countries. But this is why I recommend doing this just because it kind of gives you like easy places to target. So I could think, okay, I'm looking for loads of gym owners. Obviously the United States is huge. So I'd split this into like New York, LA, different places. So for example, if we go over onto here, so I could do, let's go New York, United States, let me do gym here, and then let's go for owners. So this is like a perfect lead list size because we don't want this number to be above a thousand. So by now I know what kind of areas I'm looking for gym owners, what language they speak, what industry, what seniority level. So it could be that you're looking for a manager, or a partner, a VP, a director. Um, you can say keywords that they would mention throughout their title, which is the phrase underneath your name, and also how large the company is, so how big a gym you'd want to find. So if I wanted to niche this down, I could say I'm going to go for um, small to, like a pretty small gym. So let me search this, I've got 165 results. Let's have a look. So we've got all these owners now at these different gyms based in New York. Um, what I would want to do now with this list is I would want to save it. So we've figured out what kind of ideal prospect we're looking for. 
we've now used Sales Navigator to find that prospect and now we want to save this lead list and have updates whenever a new profile that matches this criteria is added to LinkedIn. So what we want to do for that is click on, so we can save the search and what you can do here is I would go New York, Health, Wellness, Fitness, 11 to 50, Owner, Gym. And then you can choose how often you want alerts. Your alerts you can change through your settings on LinkedIn. And these will either be to your email or to your notifications. You can set different alerts here. Click Save Search. And then it saves it and then you can go and view all your saved lead searches over here. So I could click on this. See this um, saved lead search. Have a look through this. And then every week it will show you sort of updated profiles that match um, the criteria that you've looked for. So for example, over here you can see that I've got a thousand new in the search, 100 new, 386, 888 new. And for example, I can go on here and then click on the new results within each search, so 678. So these are all the new search results that I have that match the criteria that I searched for previously over here on this side. So that is how we save lead lists. Let's move on to the next part, which is using tags. So in terms of using tags, I actually have another video on my YouTube channel, which tells you how to use tags on Sales Navigator. So I'll link that down below, but I'll also run you through it quite quickly now. So if we go, let's go back to here. What you can see is that you have different options next to all these leads. So I can select this lead and I can do any different things. So I could save it to a list or I could tag him. So say for example, if I went through all of these leads and I found five to 10 high quality leads, I could select all the leads that I thought were high quality. So say these four people, I could then select tag and I could add them to, for example, I could make a new tag and call it high quality leads. Create new, tag, high quality leads, apply, and then you'll see that it adds these four profiles that I've selected to that tag list. So to view our tagged leads, all we need to do is go down here and at the bottom you can see a little section where you can click on tags, click on high quality leads, and then it shows me the four leads that I've tagged previously. So you can use tags to segment each lead list into different priorities. So it could be high quality leads, it could be um, contacted leads, it could be people that you want to reach out to urgently or that are low, low quality leads that you don't want to speak to. Like you can literally use tags for pretty much everything. Now, another one of the features that I wanted to mention before I finish this video is something that not many people use, but I think it's a pretty cool little trick. Now, for example, if you have a lead which is super high quality to you and they literally just match your ideal target persona perfectly, you can view other leads that match similar qualities to them. So for example, all you need to do is, for example, this guy, I could click on these three little dots and go on view similar. And then it will pull up any similar profiles that match that guy. So I've got a hundred other results that are similar to this prospect. So this is a cool little thing that you can do if you find a couple high quality prospects, or say for example, you've got a client who is your ideal prospect. You can put them into LinkedIn, search them on Sales Navigator and then view similar profiles to them and have a look through their profile and then reach out to these people. So it kind of helps you narrow down the search a little bit more. So that's everything that I wanted to mention in this video. Now I could speak about Sales Navigator for hours, but I'm not gonna put you through that. Now there are three other videos that I have filmed on my YouTube channel that are around Sales Navigator, which I will link in the description down below. So if you want to know more detailed information on each section, make sure to check those out. If you did enjoy this video, please leave it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Obviously it helps support my channel and get my content out to more and more people. And also please let me know if you have any video recommendations for me. I'm always looking for new ideas to film, so please just leave them down below and I will see you in the next video.